Okay, so now how you have a robot function that takes in two, an x value and a y value and it draws a robot at that location. Right. Now I want you to have a robot function that has the inputs an x coordinate, a y coordinate, and red, green, and blue, and draws a robot of that color at that location. So now you have five inputs. Right. So first of all, there are two things going on here. Number one, you need two more variables called previous mouse x and previous mouse y. Can make? Make them. There's a lot of room. You can make millions of variables. Okay. You have a state-of-the-art machine. Uh -huh. It can store variables. Yeah, so put, put those brackets in there. Okay. Great. Well, one second. Oh, one second. Like Put some brackets in. Do I close it? Close it. Close it while you add it. You may as well. Okay. And then you want to go in between the brackets and type in the instructions. Okay. Int, 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 int. Right. Remember type and then name. What? Int space prev mouse x. You're my robot army. Nice. Wait. You're my robot army boy. Because they generate way faster than yours. My robots are way better. No, mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 